Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Shanika and today we are going to be doing a dedication practice. So I sincerely hope you all had a wonderful New Year's um, and I will get into explaining what I mean by dedication practice. So for the past few days we've been all maybe journaling, goal setting, um, intention setting. I know for me personally 2020 was a very strange year as I'm sure it was for many of you. Um, but there were a lot of learning moments that I wanted to take with me from 2020 into 2021. So a lot of things that I still wanna continue to cultivate into 2021. But I, and I'm sure many of you know that um, not everybody is okay. Like I'm sure there's somebody in your life or somebody that you know who might be going through some hardships, maybe emotional stress, um, something physically or maybe mental health issues. And so I thought that it would be great to step back from our own intentions and kind of dedicate it or think about somebody else. So my hope for today's dedication practice is that we can shift our intentions away from ourselves and towards the greater good of somebody else. And hopefully this collective consciousness will help foster a connection um, amongst all of us. So when you're going through today's practice, I just want you to think of that person. You're sending positive thoughts, um, positive energy towards that person who may need your energy. So you will not need any props for today's practice and we will go ahead and get started with an intense toe squat. So finding yourself in a tabletop position, tucking your toes under and go ahead and just sit back onto your heels. You may wanna drag your pinky toes forward because sometimes they just like to get left behind. So just closing the eyes here. Drag the fingertips up and down the thighs if that helps. So to whomever you're deciding to dedicate your practice to, it doesn't need to be a person that you agree with. It could be someone that you disagree with. Maybe it's someone who's giving you a hard time. last few breaths here if you'd like to go deeper for these last few breaths then simply interim your knees closer towards the top of the mat so that you're now just on the toes as opposed to the ball of the foot Last two breaths, nice big inhale. 
Open the mouth and side out. Inhale. And exhale. Gently opening the eyes. Plant the palms in front of the knees. Untuck your toes. And just rotate through the ankle. You should feel really, really nice. You can wiggle the toes, maybe tap the toes on top of the mat. And we'll just counter stretch that, stretching everything just below the knee, top of the shin, top of the foot. So go ahead with your toes pressing into the floor. Press your, or sit your weight back onto your heels. If this is enough, you can stay here. You can also bring your fingertips behind you like this. If you're looking for a little bit more, you can lift your knees up. We'll only be here for three breaths. Last one, inhale. And exhale, lower the knees, rock forward, and untuck the toes. So from here, we'll be making our way into Gomukhasana. So a nice way that I like to get into it is from tabletop. I just simply bring my right knee, and I'm going to cross it over the left. And then I'm going to open up my feet wide so that there's a space for me to sit down. And there you have it. So go ahead, make sure that your hips are planted firmly on the mat. I like to interlace my hands and bring them over my right knee. Inhale, lift up through the chest. And exhale, fold forward. You can also hold on to your feet. You can bring your fingertips and spider them behind you. Thinking about sending love and energy Maybe for your dedication you visualize that person happy or free from any discomforts. Last few breaths here before we transition.
last two breaths. Nice big inhale. And side out. One more inhale. And exhale. Opening the eyes, lifting the gaze, and gently coming back up. So from here, we're going to transition into our next posture, which will be a wide-legged forward fold. So you're simply going to take the top leg, which is the right, and you're going to swing it open towards the side of the mat. And you're going to keep that left foot in towards the groin. Inhaling here. And exhale, come down center any amount. Nice, deep breaths here. Sending love and kindness. Every inhale. And exhale. A few breaths here. Last two breaths, nice big inhale. Open the mouth and side out. Again, inhale. And exhale. Let's go ahead and lift the gaze, push into the palms. Walk yourself all the way back up right. Just stay here for a moment. You bring your fingertips behind you.
Maybe you bend both knees and just very gently windshield wiper them from side to side. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So we left off from here. So you can come back to that tabletop position and find yourself back in um, Gomukhasana, or you can simply take your left leg now and cross it over the right, and then tuck your right foot in towards your bum, and then just readjust yourself. Bringing your feet out wide, making sure your hips are nice and grounded. Inhale to find length. And exhale to fold forward any amount. Again, you can spider your fingertips behind you, in front of you. You can be here. Maybe you visualize a happy moment. Maybe a happy moment that you have experienced with this person. Last few breaths here. Nice deep breaths into the back of the rib cage. Take our last two breaths. Nice big inhale. Open the mouth and sigh it out. One more inhale. And exhale. Let me lift the gaze, walk the hands back in. 
So we're going to come into that wide-legged forward fold with the right knee bent. So take the left leg, which is the top leg, and you're going to extend it out to the side of the mat. And draw that right foot in towards the groin. Take a nice big inhale. And exhale to fold forward any amount. This feels so good on that left leg after compressing it in that in that pose and now being able to open it open it up and feel all that energy and goodness flowing in that leg Last a few breaths here. Last two breaths. Nice big inhale. Open the mouth inside out. One more inhale. And gently exhale. Go ahead and lift the gaze. Push into the palms. Walk yourself all the way back up. Just pause for a moment here. You can bring your hands behind you. Go ahead and open the eyes and we'll gently just come to lay on our backs. So from here, we'll be making our way into a twist. Um, it'll twist It'll twist us, and it'll also target the IT band. So go ahead and cross your right ankle over the left kneecap. Pick up your left foot and draw your knee in towards your chest. From here, you're going to tip the shape that you've created over towards the left, so your right foot plants onto the mat. You can grab that right ankle with your left hand, gazing over your right shoulder. Just want to make sure that your knee isn't dropping towards the mat, you're actively
moving it away from you. Thinking about a time that this person has done something for you, maybe made your day, made you smile. Maybe something unexpected. last few breaths here if you'd like to go a little bit deeper you can take your right hand and grab a hold of your left foot and then draw your right foot in towards your groin and drop your right knee towards the back of the mat so we're in a half lotus Last two breaths, nice big inhale. Open the mouth and side out. One more inhale. And exhale. Gently release the grip, taking the left hand off of the right foot taking the right hand off the left foot, bring the left foot from out underneath you. And bringing both knees to point towards the ceiling. Just taking a moment here before we come to the other side. So go ahead, take your left ankle and cross it over the right knee. Pick up your right foot and draw your knee in towards your chest. From here, you're gonna drop the shape or tip the shape you've created over towards the right grabbing the left ankle with the right hand and gazing over the left shoulder. You can also cactus that arm if that feels good. Just remembering to point the knee towards the ceiling, you wanna avoid dropping it down towards the mat.
coming into our last few breaths here. If you'd like to go deeper for these last few breaths, taking your left hand, grab a hold of your right foot, try and point that knee towards the back of the mat, draw that left foot in towards your groin, and drop the left knee down for half lotus. Last two breaths, nice big inhale. In the mouth and side out. One more inhale. And exhale. Gently opening the eyes, release the grip of the left foot with the right hand, release the grip of the right foot, bending both knees back towards the ceiling. And from here, we'll make our way into Shavasana. So extending your legs out wide, arms out wide. Let's go ahead and push the back of the skull into the mat and pick up the chest. Draw the shoulders away from the ears and down the back and set yourself back down onto the mat. Maybe it'll help to bring one hand to the heart and one hand to the belly. Let's go ahead from here and take a nice big inhale. Open the mouth and audible exhale. <sighs> One more just like this. Inhale. And sigh it out. <sighs> With dedication practice, such as the one we've just done, allows us to foster compassion and understanding. So feeling free to stay here for as long as you'd like. I do hope you enjoyed today's practice. I wish you a blessed 2021, and I will see you back here again soon. Have a wonderful day.